I'm here with my OK Pro 500 watt solar portable power station. I have my Dash mini griddle and I have a bag of these tater rounds from the Dollar Tree. This is a new product at the Dollar Tree. I saw it for the first time the other day and I thought I would buy it and try it. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. And it says they're from the Finger Food Factory. These are seasoned shredded potatoes, zero grams of trans fat per serving, gluten-free, cholesterol-free, extra crispy, keep frozen, cook thoroughly, all natural, no preservatives, no artificial colors, net weight 14 ounces. The first thing that I do when I purchase any kind of food is I read the ingredients. And the ingredients in here are potatoes, palm oil, corn flour, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, turmeric, and chili flakes. So for tater tots, those are pretty good ingredients. There are no chemicals, no strange preservatives. I can understand every word of that. And it says this product is processed in 100% vegetarian food facility. This is a product of India and it's manufactured by Himalaya International Limited. So let's cook some of these tater rounds in this Dash mini griddle. The first thing that I need to do is plug it in. I just plugged it in. We could see that it's pulling 310 watts. So if you are looking to run these Dash mini appliances on a solar power bank, you want to make sure that you have one that handles 310 watts. I believe these are rated 350 watts. So you want to make sure you have uh, the capacity to run 350 watts and I found by buying a solar power bank that is 500 watts it takes care of it very easily. If I wanted to run two of these at the same time I would need a portable power station of at least 750 watts. The griddle has heated up the blue light went off so let's open this up it's very hot be very careful this is what these tater rounds look like. This actually looks like two that have stuck together and I can't get them apart. So I'm just gonna put them on like that. Here's another one and another one. So I can easily fit five on here. So let's shut this and then let's come back in like five minutes and check on them. It's been five minutes now, so let's open this up and let's see what's going on here. So these started out frozen, so they're gonna take a bit longer to cook than if they were not frozen. They're starting to smell really good. I'm just going to turn them over a little bit. They're still quite frozen. They're very cold. And I'll shut that and then We'll check it in another five minutes. It's been 10 minutes now, so let's check on these tater rounds. Let's see, are they, are they heated through? We're getting there. They almost taste like an egg roll. I've never had these before, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's do five more minutes. So it'll be 15 minutes in total. It's been another five minutes, so we're looking at about 15 minutes total. They're nice and brown on top, and now I can hear them sizzling away. They're very soft. Always unplug the Dash Mini Griddle when you're done with it. Okay, so let's check these out. They're a little crispy on top. They're very soft. Let's taste it. So these are similar to tater tots, but they're different. Tater tots have more of a fried outer surface. And I don't think these were fried before they were packaged. I feel like they were just extruded and then packaged. They're good. They're very similar to a tater tot. This one kind of fell apart because this is the one I was poking. For a quick snack or a side dish or a light meal, 
These are good. I would definitely buy these again. The bag was only a dollar. The taste on these is fine, if anything. I think they're a little bit salty. I'm going to go check the sodium on the package. I don't really like food that's super salty, but with any kind of packaged food, there's usually some kind of level of sodium. I would be curious as to how these come out in an air fryer, um, if the texture um, would be crispier around the outside. One thing I do know that when I have made uh, tater tots in this mini griddle in the past, they do come out a little bit softer than I would like them. Um, these are actually coming out firmer uh, than tater tots that I've made in the past um, because the texture on these is just a little bit different than um, the tater tots that um, we typically can buy in stores. But these are good if you like fried potatoes. Definitely give these a try. It's a really cheap item. They have a good amount of flavor. If I had some ketchup, I'd probably eat these with ketchup because I normally eat tater tots with ketchup, but I have to go buy more of them all out. And uh, they cook up really well in a Dash Mini Griddle. So thanks so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.